Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about the Disney movie Cinderella, which was directed by Kenneth Brenner, stars Lily James, Kate Blanchett, and Richard Madden. Now if you don't know the story of Cinderella, here's a little brief story, here's a little brief history of, of not history, a brief, I guess, synopsis of the of 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 this mother movie. Okay? Cinderella is having a, grew up in a nice, loving family. Mom and a dad. Everybody was happy. Her mother taught her to like to embrace her imagination, to always be kind and nice because that is the most magic that you can have. She 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 encouraged her to believe in all things and not just accept what what she sees, but to see the magic in the world as well. So I mean, if, 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 if you want to believe in fairies, believe in fairies. There's nothing wrong with that. Because it makes you happy on the inside, and there's nothing wrong with being happy. Because everybody likes being happy. So things do not go well in the family because the mother gets sick and she passes away. So now it's just the father and, and, and Cinderella, and, and they're, they're coping. But in time, they, they, the morning stops, and, they, and they, begin, they get stronger, and they move on. But the father gets known. He feels like, though, I think it's time for me to, well... Move on with my life and, and and remarry. So he tells Cinderella this, and Cinderella's happy for him because she wants she wants to see her father happy, which is a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. All children want to see their parents happy. So he tells about this woman he knows from on his travels, and he and he and he brings he goes he goes and gets her, and she has two daughters. He tells about that. He said they're gonna bring her in and bring her to the house. Now. From the start, once you see her and you see her daughters, you know something's wrong. You can tell from the start that there's something wrong with this, but somehow the father seems to like be oblivious to it. And the, the red flag of all is this. Now, hey, before I go in, in the deeper, here's a warning. If you're planning on marrying someone, if you're planning on marrying someone, if they have a pet, and they name it Lucifer. Don't marry them. Don't marry them. If they have a pet, I don't care if it's a bird, a cat, a goldfish. If they said, oh, this is my pet, Lucifer. You said, oh, well, then I think we're done. Yeah, we're not going to get married now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cinderella. We're not, we're not really marrying her because she's insane. That, that's the sign right there. That's the sign. That's the sign. But yet, he marries her anyway. And she starts off kind of sweet, sort of, a little bit. And the, and the father is the merchant, so, he, so he, he travels a lot. So on his travels, things don't go well for him. He gets sick and he dies. Leaving Cinderella alone with this, with this evil woman and her stupid ditzy daughters who think they have all this amazing talent but they don't have any not at all not even an inkling not even a these are, these are the kind of, these, her daughters are the kind of people who are going on American Idol thinking they could sing and then get mad at the judges because they told them that they can't like, I don't know who you think you're talking to. I can sing. All my friends tell me I have an amazing voice. I just, I don't know who they told you about. I don't know who told you that one. They lied to you. They lied. But, so Cinderella goes from being her, like, stepdaughter to her maid. And, well, you, I don't want to go into details about everything, but you know how it, how it ends. Spoiler alert. She gets the prince. That's all I'm saying. So, like I said, the, the story has is not hasn't been changed from the from the Disney animated picture. No, there's nothing new here, but the performances are done quite well. The performances are done quite well. Kate Blanchett does a, a great job as an evil stepmother. She is evil. Matter of fact, you notice that even her, even before she didn't say anything, this is a little twinkle in her eye. You can tell she's evil. I just oh, she kind of. I mean, she looks great. Her, her outfit and stuff look, look amazing, but she, you can tell before she even say anything. That she, even when she, when she, like, when she like 
does it like a little fake smile, and when she nods her head, he says, oh my god, this chick is evil. She is evil. Why did he marry her? Why? I don't understand. But all the performances are well. But the one, the performance that, that really, like, really got me the most is Lily James. She plays Cinderella. Oh my God, she thought she was made for this part. I don't know what her parents did to conceive her. Did they have a fairy godmother themselves? Maybe so. Maybe Mickey Mouse came and touched her in the womb or something. I don't know, but she was, she was like made to be Cinderella. Oh my God, the way she, her, her performances alone, the way she moves, the, the grace she has. There's this, there's this scene in this picture. Which after she get her fairy godmother gives her her dress and she all bibbity bobbity and booed and she comes on the steps she looks so beautiful, so beautiful with that dress on and the way she's walking down the steps oh my god I fell in love with her right then and you can see why the prince wanted to marry her. I almost tried to I tried to marry her, but I, too, I was talking to a screen and it got weird because people were looking at me like I was insane. But her performance is amazing. If you have a daughter, take her to see this movie. She will enjoy it. And hopefully you will enjoy it too, just as much as I did. And before the, before the movie starts, there's a short, a, a Frozen short, which is also very sweet and very touching. So, if you would enjoy it too. The whole thing is how this picture is, is like just sweet and touching. It's all it's, it's, it's everything. It's just sweet and touching. I just, oh, that's so beautiful. So if I give the movie, if I give Cinderella a grade, I'm giving it a B, a B plus. I enjoy it. Hopefully you will enjoy it too. If you already have seen it, let me know what you thought about it. If you're planning on seeing it, come back and then let me know what you thought. So like and subscribe, cause I would appreciate.